Ooh. <laughs> uh, that's not a good prediction. At the start of the championship season, I made some predictions about how each team would get on. Today is the day where I look at how I did. I'm going to react to my predictions and see what I got right and what I got wrong because I genuinely can't remember what I predicted. So let's get on with it and we'll see how I did. So we're going to start with Bournemouth. They're going to lose a lot of talent. They're already losing some of their talent and I do worry about them without Eddie Howe in charge because he was kind of just so central to what they did and I think it's going to be a huge challenge for them, a big change and I can see them finishing in mid-table. Um, okay, <laughs> that was not a good prediction. My first prediction was not a good one because Bournemouth ended up in the playoffs and they definitely were not mid-table. They did do well, though, to pick it back up as the season went on. Uh, but, yeah, it's just not a good prediction, really. They they did a lot better than I... They've coped a lot better than I thought they would. However, unfortunately for them, they're already knocked out of the playoffs, so they will be in the championship still next season. So next season's going to be a big one for Bournemouth. Let's see Barnsley now. They started last season really, really badly. They only took six points from 14 matches to begin the season. Then they changed their manager and then that completely changed their fortunes. The new manager came in. He took 43 points from the remaining 32 games. That was enough to keep them safe. Just if they continue that next season, which there's no reason why they shouldn't, they're going to finish comfortably in mid-table. So, I mean, well done to Barnsley as well. Another team, second prediction, both of the teams so far that I predicted ended up in the playoffs and I suggested they were both be mid-table. Now, Barnsley, like I said, um, they last season they, they had an, an awful start to the season, but then they were flying when they replaced their manager and they did keep it going throughout this season. They outperformed what I thought they would be capable of doing and well done to Barnsley because that is, it's just absolutely fantastic. Again, the... They've missed out on the playoffs, so uh, unfortunately for them, they will be in the Championship again next season. But yeah, fifth place finish for Barnsley, very, very impressive. And totally wrong for me. <laughs> Birmingham City now. But even if they don't score many goals, they should at least concede fewer, which might lead to more points. I can actually see Birmingham struggling again next season, but I do think they will survive in the end. Okay, so I put them in close escape. They actually finished in 18th, and I class that as a close escape, really. A bit of form towards the end of the season. They did lose the last couple of games, but before that they picked up some points, which just dragged them out of it. And they were safe in the end, quite comfortably really, but actually, I think I got my prediction right. Blackburn Rovers now. Their 11th place finish last season was a really good result for them, probably a surprise to some people, and they have an imbalanced squad. However, I think they'll have a similar season again next season, and I can see them being mid-table again. Yeah, happy with that. Mid, Definitely mid-table, 15th and never really in any danger of going down but yeah like I said I think they overachieved last season they've fallen back a bit this season totally expected in my opinion let's look at Brentford they scored the most goals in the league last season with 80 which is incredible and they only conceded more goals than Leeds but it looks like they're replacing him with 10 million pound striker Ivan Tony from Peterborough, who hopefully for them could step in and score, if not 25 goals, but certainly score a fair few goals for them. If Thomas Frank can keep them tight at the back, I see absolutely no reason why they can't get automatic promotion next season. Brentford will be so gutted that they haven't got automatic promotion this season. Uh, I feel a little bit sorry for them, really. Once again, they were the top scorers in the Championship. Ivan Tony came in, absolutely took the league by storm. What a great replacement for Ollie Watkins. He proved to be. And yeah, as I speak, Brentford have the cha have the playoff final to come at the weekend. Uh, they take on Swansea. And personally, I hope Brentford do it. So good luck to Brentford. I, I still hope you come up, even though my prediction was wrong. Bristol City now. Fans not mega happy with the new manager, Dean Holder. However, I think it may be a season or even two seasons too soon for them to actually get into the playoffs. I do think there will be playoff challengers. Ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, that's not a good prediction. Um, playoff challengers. They finished 19th. Uh, awful prediction. I mean, they were they just didn't have a good season at all. There's not much more I can say about that. They were not anywhere near the playoffs. <laughs> Let's move on to Cardiff quickly. So they're trending upwards and Harris is trying to make them score more goals, which is going to be crucial. I expect to see them pushing for automatic promotion this season. However, I think they'll fall short, but they will be a playoff team again. So this isn't going that well. <laughs> um, yeah, Cardiff finished eighth. So they didn't finish in the playoffs, obviously. They were just outside the playoffs. And actually, by the end of the season, they weren't close to the playoffs. That 
you know, like the Bournemouth who finished sixth were on 77 points. Cardiff were eighth on 68 points. So, you know, that's like nine points behind. Um, so, yeah, I can't even claim that they were unlucky to miss out on the playoffs because they weren't. Coventry City next. I think Coventry squads should be able to match those around them. And I think in games against their fellow relegation uh, challenges, if you like, I think that they'll be able to get enough points to ensure that they survive. However, it's going to be a tight season for them and I will I can see them ending in the close escape category. Yeah, I feel like I got this prediction just about right, to be honest. I mean, Coventry did well and they avoided relegation quite comfortably in the end, but they were in that rele- relegation kind of battle I guess for quite a bit of the season Uh, so I feel like I kind of just about got that one right I don't dare click on the next one it's Derby however the owner wants half of the squad to be um, academy graduates which is a brilliant aim I guess so no big money signings but they'll have a nice blend of youth and experience they've got some really talented uh, experienced players in that squad so I can see Derby being playoff challengers once again next season playoff challengers (laughs) <laughs> playoff challengers no no that wasn't right <laughs> I mean they just escaped relegation literally by luck on the last day of the season I mean it was as it was as much as that that was it that it was lucky that they stayed up not a good prediction let's move on and with a minimal amount of time between the se- last season finishing and the new season beginning and no money to spend really as such I'm really worried about Huddersfield and actually I think I can see them getting relegated out of the championship. Uh, they finished twentieth. I mean, they were in the relegation fight, but they didn't get relegated. So that's one of my three relegation slots, which was incorrect. Oh, I've not got many right so far. Let's move on to Luton. Luton had an amazing survival from relegation last season, and I think next season is going to be another really tough season for them. And they've got a bit of an inexperienced squad at this level. I do still think they've got enough about them to escape and be in the close escape category. Well, Luton finished 12th and had a really good season. They weren't a close escape candidate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well done to Luton. Great season, actually. Finishing 12th in the Championship is is very impressive for a team of Luton's size. Yeah, well done, Luton. I got that completely wrong again. Uh, let's move swiftly on to Middlesbrough. Warnock knows what this league's all about. I've got absolutely no concerns about Middlesbrough next season. I think Warnock will have them much more drilled. He'll have them scoring more goals. And I think Middlesbrough will finish comfortably in mid-table and not have any relegation worries like they did this season. I got one right. Woo! (laughs) Middlesbrough were 10th, which is mid-table, right? That's, yeah, definitely mid-table. I'm happy with that prediction. Warnock has improved them. They were steady away. They didn't pull up any trees. But, yeah, they were 10th. I'm happy with that one. Let's move on to Millwall. I can't see them actually improving their attack enough to push on and and sort of maintain that level that they were at last season as uh, playoff contenders. I can see them finishing mid-table. Yeah, I mean, they finished 11th. They were mid-table along with Middlesbrough. So um, they did drop off a bit, but they still had a good season. And I think they'll be happy with 11th. And I'm happy with 11th because I got that right. Norwich City now. So they're a well-run club. You know what you're going to get with Norwich. They're a, they are a yo-yo club. They're up and down. I think they'll be fine, but I do think they're going to miss out on automatic promotion. And I think that they will be in the playoffs. <laughs> Why did I... <sighs> yeah. I mean, I literally was building them up for, like, saying they're going to go get promoted automatically. They were clear champions. And congratulations to Norwich. They didn't have to go via the playoffs. They got automatic promotion. They won the championship. And it's great to have Norwich back in the Premier League. Nottingham Forest now. So I think Forest will have enough firepower next season. If they can have a bit more flair from midfield, and they are linked with several players who could fulfil that, then they will absolutely take that step into the playoffs. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, uh, Forest finished 17th. That is nowhere near the playoffs. It's definitely not in the playoffs. I mean, they finished 17th, but actually, they were in trouble for a lot of the season. And they pulled themselves out of it towards the end. 
So they'll be pleased that they did that. But actually, overall, as a season, terrible for Forest, and it was a terrible prediction by me. Preston North End now. But they need a goal scorer, but they don't have much money, so that's going to be a bit tricky for them. I think, despite all that, they should still be challenging for the playoffs next season. I hold my hands up. I got that one wrong as well. Um, again, it, it just kind of reinforces how hard it is to predict the championship. If you don't improve in football, you go backwards. If you st- Like, if you stand still, you go backwards. And I think that's probably what happened to Preston here. QPR now. You can't talk about QPR without talking about their star man, Eze, who was left to go to Crystal Palace for £15 million. That is 14 goals and 8 assists that they need to replace somehow. Basically, QPR are still trying to sort themselves out financially. To be honest, it's a really sensible thing for them to be doing. Uh, and actually should put them on a sounder footing in the next two, three, four years in order to invest properly and maybe push on in further years. But for now, QPR will be a mid-table team. I'm going to take that as a win on this one. I, mean, I know they finished ninth, but they never, they weren't really playoff challengers. I think, for me, ninth at the end of this championship season, classes as mid-table. And I think that QPR next season might surprise a few people. Reading now. Let's see how they got on. Reading were another team last season who had a poor start and replaced their manager, who then saw really good improvement. If their manager, Mark Bowen, keeps that form up, Reading will have a very similar season again this season and be mid-table again. Reading finished seventh, and that's obviously the the place just below the playoff contenders. So I can't really claim credit for them finishing mid table. I think that's I think I got that wrong. Let's move on to Rotherham promotion from League One again last season. Can they stay in the Championship this season? I actually believe they can. They've got some experience at this level, and I think with a few smart additions here and there, I think that they will be in for a close escape. But I do think they'll survive. Oh, I was so close with this one. Rotherham on the last day of the season. I think it was even in the last ten minutes or last five minutes of their season, they dropped it back into the relegation zone. They were so close to surviving. I'm gutted because I've got it for them, but I'm also gutted because it meant that my prediction was wrong. <laughs> but ah, so close, so close. Never mind. Sheffield Wednesday now. I'm not sure where they're going to get their goals from, and the club have been on a downward trajectory really for the last 12 months, 18 months anyway. So I think I can just see that continuing, and I think that Sheffield Wednesday as well as having a big points deduction to overhaul, I just think they're going to get relegated. I got that right. I mean, the 12 points became 6 points, minus 6 points, but they still got relegated. And I think those concerns about how the club's been ran came to fruition. They, they for a time on the last day of the season, they were out of the relegation zone, but ultimately they got relegated. They finished bottom with 41 points. And yeah, they're, they're out of the championship, into League One. Let's move on to Stoke City. They score plenty without having a main goal scorer. Now, that's actually quite a positive thing. They've also got a very experienced team. They've got a lot of players who are in their late 20s, even early 30s. And I think what they're planning on doing is building a team for now, trying to get playoff football now. I think with one or two shrewd defensive signings, just to make them a bit tighter at the back, I can honestly see Stuck making that leap and getting in the playoffs. (laughs) Yeah... They weren't near the playoffs again. Um, they were 14th. And for a while at the start of the season, they, they actually did okay. Their aim from the start of the season must have been to finish in the playoffs. And they missed it by a long shot. Swansea City now. What worries me about teams who draw lots of games is can the next season, can they turn those draws into wins or can or will those draws become defeats? They've got a very small transfer budget. They're going to be relying on loan signings. And I'm just not sure that they're going to be able to push on and consolidate that place in the playoffs. And actually, I think what will happen is they'll go slightly the other way. They'll still be playoff challengers, but I think they'll just miss out on the playoffs next season. Oh, Swansea are in the playoff final. <laughs> um, yeah, they, they were... I mean, they did even better. For a while, it looked like they might even push automatic promotion. They did end up in the playoffs. They are in the playoff final against Brentford, which is this weekend coming, as I film this. It's going to be a good game against Brentford. I'm looking forward to it. So well done to Swansea. Let's move on to Watford. Their owners will not settle for being in the championship. That's for absolute sure. But even if they lose Troy Deeney, I think they'll back their manager and they will be wanting automatic promotion straight away. And I believe that Watford will get automatic promotion. Yeah, and I was right. They did get automatic promotion. They finished second with 91 points. And yeah, they just had a very comfortable season, really. they not No major dramas. They just got on with the job in hand. And they they secured second place fairly comfortably, really, to be fair to them. 
Um, One more team to go, Wickham Wanderers. But can they survive? Well, to be honest with you, I think they're going to find it really, really tough. They have a very small budget. They had a small budget in League One, which was why it was kind of a miracle they came up. They did come up. I think they're going to battle and try really hard. But to be honest, I think it's going to be in vain. I think they will get relegated, but good luck to them. They were very, very close to not going down. They finished third bottom and one point behind Derby. So they did put up a valiant effort and... With just a little bit, one more result, they would have they would have survived. I feel a bit gutted for the Wickham fans actually, because obviously their first ever season in the Championship, there were no fans in the stadium or the ground for them. That's a real shame. So I'd love to see Wickham bounce back next season from League One into the Championship, and let's have Adams Park full of Wickham fans because that would be really good for them. Overall, then my predictions were. Uh, not great, <laughs> I think, to be fair. Although I did get one of the promoted teams, automatically promoted teams, correct, and two of the three relegated teams correct as well. So there's some consolation there. Unfortunately, my four teams that I picked for the playoffs were all wrong, which is quite embarrassing, really. So that's not good. I need to do better next season at that. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you really soon for another video.